Hi everybody, this is Bastian and I want you to imagine the following. Imagine you're a Blackmore Demer player and you're going to the local chess club. You find an opponent of equal strength, but he doesn't know anything about the Blackmore Demer. He has read about it on the internet and some opening books and half of the time they say that it's a refuted opening. Black should just grab the free pawn, even a crackpot opening. But he didn't look into it further than that, so game starts out with d4, d5, e4, signaling the Blackmore Demer. And your opponent has a smile on his face and grabs the free pawn, thinking it's going to be an easy match. But 20 moves later, he lost the game. And he wants a rematch. Next game, 20 moves later, he loses again. So he heads home browses the internet, looks for all kinds of ref refutations against the Blackmore Demer and the next day you meet again and he's saying this time it's going to be different because he read all about the Blackmore Demer so what are we going to do? well we're going to play a different weapon in the Blackmore Demer arsenal which is the Demer von Popiel opening and the game starts out the same way, d4, d5, e4, black takes. Now there are two continuations in uh, the Blackmore Demer. Uh, f3, which is the Blackmore move. Knight to c3, which is the Demer move. And when both are played together, we can speak about the Blackmore Demer. But we're not going to see that today. Today we're going to see the Demer von Popiel. So first the Demer move, the in-between knight to c3. Black plays knight to f6. And instead of playing f3, after which black captures and white can choose to either develop the knight or the queen to f3, we play the von Popiel move, which is bishop to g5. Of course, black wants to uh, white wants to recapture the pawn on e4, and this knight is protecting, so why not try and take out the knight on f6? So black again is out of book and is not sure on how to continue, so he can try knight b to d7 to protect the knight, and in case of bishop takes knight. The knight can recapture and still protect or attack protect the pawn on uh, e4. But in doing so, we can see he's locking out his queen and bishop from the game. So there's no longer the possibility of an attack on the pawn by the queen. Uh, all white has to do now is play queen to e2 because white does not have to capture the bishop. Queen to e2 creates an immediate attack on the pawn on e4 and white is ready to castle uh, queenside whereas black has already locked himself in so black thinks about it and doesn't play knight to uh, b7 instead plays bishop to f5 with the same uh, idea of uh, holding on to the additional pawn so now if, if take recapture and we still have a bishop guarding the pawn on e4. So now white plays knight g to e2. And this move develops the knight, but it looks like it loses the tempo because I want to develop the knight to a g3. But on g3, I can regain the tempo because of uh, the attack on the bishop which needs to be responded to. Knight on g3 attacks, uh, creates a double attack on the e4 pawn, especially after I take out the knight. So I can recapture my gambit pawn on e4 and develop my pieces for free. Black plays knight to c6 with the idea of counterattacking on the pawn on d4. So now 
if I continue with knight to g3 with my original plan black can play knight takes pawn gaining a second pawn knight takes bishop but now the knight is uh, covering the bishop on the 5 knight recaptures queen takes queen, rook takes queen bishop takes knight pawn takes bishop and I can recapture one pawn with knight to e4 but you're approaching an endgame and I'm still down a pawn and this is probably winning for uh, black so instead of playing knight to g3 too fast I should um, try and protect the pawn on d5 first d4 uh, so I'm playing d5 attacking the knight and notice that the knight jump to uh, d4 is no longer possible knight moves to e5 with no protection knight g3 so I'm continuing with my plan bishop g4 saving the bishop and gaining tempo with an attack on the queen but after centralizing the queen with queen to um, d4 we can see that black's knight is under attack on e5 also I'm adding a third attacker on the pawn on e4 so it's becoming clear I can regain my gambit pawn already uh, the threat with the knight has to be responded to first so black is losing some tempo in um, moving the knight place knight to uh, d7 again protecting the knight on f6 but at least black has freed up his bishop which is now on g4 and at this point I can play bishop takes knight knight recaptures knight takes pawn knight recaptures and then say queen takes knight and we can see that black has failed in his opening defense and I've regained my gambit pawn with a slightly better development for uh, white but white has uh, different ideas now instead of playing bishop takes knight on f6 I play h3 attacking the bishop an in-between move but now the bishop is lost bishop moves to h5 still protected by the knight so I take out the knight and black is forced to recapture with his knight in order to protect the bishop knight takes knight recaptures so we're seeing the knight being completely out of play and now once again I can grab the pawn back on e4 but white has a few tactical shots here bishop b5 check and it's safe to say that black is lost already now there are two possibilities that's move the queen in the way or move the pawn so obviously black plays pawn to c6 now pawn takes pawn sacrificing my queen on d4 black captures pawn takes pawn check regaining my queen now if queen blocks we get a pawn promotion with mate so that's not even an option here black plays king to d8 pawn takes rook queen and check king to c7 queen c6 check king to b8 and now bishop to a6 and black cannot protect against the double mate threat with queen b7 or queen c8 queen b6 queen c8 mate at move 18 so that's a game demonstrating the Diemer von Popiel. So I hope you enjoyed it and it's well worth adding to uh, the arsenal of the Blackmore Diemer player. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening.